women and handbags. We will not leave the house without a bag, and some of us will not leave the house without a big bag. I love my big bags. I used to be one of them. Leave me a comment below if you're the same way. But what is the best bag for you if you're petite like me? See if I go to the New York City subway. Everybody is carrying a huge bag, so there's something going on there. What is the thing between women and big handbags? I love my big bags. I carry my umbrella with me, just in case it might rain today. I'm prepared. Big bags? Yeah, they're the only thing I carry because I don't know, just in case. I mean, I have a, I might have a date night tonight. I'm wearing sneakers right now, but I have my heels in my bag. I love my big bags. Big bags? Yeah, of course. Everybody carries big bags. Why do I need big bags? I don't. I don't know. I don't really think about it. I mean, my apartment is so small in Manhattan. I mean, I guess I need space somewhere. I love my big bags. There might be different reasons that you're carrying a big bag, but one thing they have in common is that they are not flattering on anyone, and they are especially will not make a petite lady look good. I am five foot two. If you're about my height, five two, five three, when you carry a big bag like this, you may not realize how it looks on you when you look at yourself in the mirror. But look at me. This is how it looks when you carry it, and you are a short person like me. I used to carry a bag of this size, especially after I had my baby, because I just got everything thrown in the bag. But I didn't realize the bag is almost one third of my entire body. So if I walk around with a bag this size, it looks like I'm struggling. It looks like I'm carrying luggage with me. Do you like big bags like this? If you do, leave me a comment below and let me know. If you don't, also leave a comment below. Once I figured that out, I switched over to medium-sized bags. Now all my bags are medium-sized, and what I found out is actually everything I really need for the day you can still fit in the medium-sized bag. You really don't lose anything. But medium-sized bag will make you look much better if you are petite like me. Now, another thing that nobody is talking about, but it's extremely important, is the crossbody bags. We all love crossbody bags. They are so convenient, and they come in different sizes. And they have the chain bags. Those are the most feminine-looking and very classy. Goes with everything. The only problem is they can be really, really tricky if you are petite. Now, first, let's look at the straps. When you buy a handbag, now this is especially important for crossbody handbags. The retailers normally give you a number that you are not paying attention to. That is the drop of the strap and how long that is. This is what it measures from here to here. And there's three typical standard lengths: eighteen, twenty, and twenty-three inches. I found this information on a bag company, ArtandCove.com, and they compare how the different drop lengths looks like on different. Different height. First, the 18 inch. The model on the left is five foot, and the model on the right is five two. Next, the 20 inch. The model on the left is five two, like myself. The one on the right is five five. So as you can see, if you're five two and wear 20 inch, it looks a lot lower on you than someone who is five five. Next, the 23 inches, the full length. This is really the length for tall girls. As you can see, both models are tall. On the left is 5'8", and on the right is 6 foot. And if you are under 5'3 or 5'4, I suggest that you only go with the shortest length, that is 18 inch, because if you go with anything longer. It's very much likely the back and your thigh area, which is not really flattering. I'll give you an example from my closet. This bag, the original drop, is 23 inches, and this is how it looks on me. It's kind of dangling around my knees. 
So I had to adjust the strap, and I got it down to about 18 inches. And this is now how it looks on me. You can see here's a huge difference. Because if you're petite, it's really important that you always draw attention to your upper body and to your face, and it's not flattering if. It looks like the emphasis is on your lower body. It never looks good if you are short like me. If you go with the longer straps, make sure the straps are adjustable. So that means the easiest for you is the leather or faux leather crossbody bags. Because if you go with a chain bag, it's very hard to adjust the length. If you are in love with the chain bags, then make sure the chain bags, the bags are small, so that it will be less noticeable. Like this chain bag, the drop is lower than I want, but there's no way I can make it shorter. But the good thing is the bag is so small; it could look a lot worse if it's a big bag. It won't be dragging too much attention down to the bottom half of your body. Here is another example. I got this stand bag from Marc Jacobs a few years ago. I absolutely love it. It's so adorable. But because it's on the chain, I can't adjust the length. So if I carry it as a crossbody, it just doesn't look right. If you have a bag this size, don't carry it crossbody. It's the way you carry your bag really matters. If you're petite like me, it's really important to draw attention to above. So that means the best way for you to carry a bag is to carry it on your shoulders. If you, it's not a really a shoulder bag, it's too big or too small for a shoulder, then try to carry it on your arms. So if you have a medium size like my stand bag, then you can carry it on your arms because this way the attention would be in your upper body, which is very flattering if you're petite like me. Or the next level, you can just hold them in your hands. Either way, you will look much better than to let a bag of this size hang on your shoulder and dangling around your upper thighs. What should you do if you do have a shoulder bag like this? This size, if you put it on your shoulder, it's still gonna draw too much attention down. So it's really important that you adjust the length of the straps. And now it's still on my shoulders, but because it's higher up, it looks much better. Or you can just take out the straps altogether and convert it to a handbag. This is my favorite way of carrying a bag of this size. Carrying a big bag is one of the ten common mistakes that petite women are making. Watch this video and find out what are the other nine mistakes that you might be making.